this is Maggie back with another fall craft for you. Today we are going to make a cute candy bowl for the fall. Um, you can use this for Halloween through November if you want. Um, we're going to make a pumpkin out of this. So you're just going to need a little planter with the dish. Um, any size you want. I got this at the craft store. Uh, I'm sure you can get it at the hardware stores as well. Um, and some brown and orange paint and a little knob for the top. I also got these at the craft store um, and your paintbrush. And as always, you can use any color you want. I'm just traditional when it comes to um, Halloween. Uh, what's nice about this too is if you don't want to, you don't have to paint um, the underside of this because you're only going to see until you open it, of course, but um, when it's displayed, you're only going to see the outer part. You can also paint it a different color if you wanted to, like maybe you want the inside black, um, but choose whatever colors you like. And you're going to paint both the lid and the pot. You don't have to worry um, about the hole on the bottom because hopefully your candy will be larger than the hole. Um, I'm just putting I'll be putting individually wrapped candies in here. Um, I prefer those because one, they, la they last longer, they stay fresher longer. Um, and two, it's just nice, um, you know, if you have friends over or family for them to just grab and everyone isn't touching the same thing, especially right now. <laughs> um, but if you do wanna close up the hole, you can use, um, really you can put tape over it um, if you want it to be really simple over the, the bottom on the outside because you're not gonna see that anyway. Or if you wanna do a little better job, you can use um, clay. Or if you want to display it in, in a dish, you can buy two of your your little um, dishes there. One for your lid and then one for the bottom if that's what you want to do. Flipping it over, I just want to get the top here. Okay. Definitely, we'll put a second coat on. You want to let it fully dry before you put the next coat. Um, while we're waiting, we can paint our little, our little knob here. I'm gonna use brown. If you wanna leave it natural wood, that's fine too. Um, you can definitely do that.
So you'll paint your stem brown and your pot orange, put a second coat on, and then when everything is dry, I will be back to show you guys how to put the rest of it together. Okay, so now that your pot is dry, you're going to take your knob, and um, if you do want to put leaves or anything like that on, I should mention, um, also grab those. I did find some extras, so I'm going to put those on. Make sure you use hot glue so they stick really well. And also make sure your knob is definitely dry when you go to put it on. And there you have it. Let's put your top on and now you've got a cute little pumpkin candy dish. You can also use, there's thick wire um, coil in nice brown tones um, that looks kind of like twine so you can you know do little curly cues if you want there's lots of ways you can embellish this if you want it to be specifically Halloween you can also use black paint or a sharpie to draw a jack-o-lantern face on it so get as creative as you want with this and if you do one, send us a picture, let us know how it came out, and I will see you guys in our next video.